I'm with John Beliveau, COO of Sinemax USA. Hi, John, how are you? I'm great, Jennifer, how are you? I'm doing great. I can't wait to hear all about the latest innovations. Every time I talk to you, it seems like you've got uh, at least two or three things you're pulling out of the uh, closet to show us that's brand new. Thanks, yeah, we, um, as you know, Sinemax is celebrating our uh, 20th anniversary of being in business. And Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. It's kind of a memorial year, right, with COVID-19. But um, as a result of that, you know, we've been, we've been having a lot of product development over the past six months. Um, probably the biggest one that we came out with is antimicrobial packaging that we've worked with Microban on. It's called antimicrobial packaging. I'm seeing lots and lots of antimicrobial bedding and bath, and but this is the packaging that's antimicrobial. The packaging at retail so that consumers can feel safe that um, bacteria is not being transferred. It's with Microban. Um, this is actually a treated box. The uh, we have a patent pending on two different methods. Uh, one is to be able to put the microband in the ink that prints the box, but the other one, which is basically foolproof, is putting it in the UV coating that sets the ink. So as it sets over the top of the box, um, it's it's been proven and tested by microband at 99.9% uh, bacterial and germ-free. Wow. Yeah. Um, so we also are moving in those same directions with a, um, a trade name called Virus Shield, which we are in the process now of working with uh, two different companies uh, to be able to get our products FDA approved for antiviral claims. Wow. So that will come. Um, it's probably within the next five months. Can I ask you something? So with Viral Shield and 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 the microband packaging, is this something that right now is just kind of an added that you know and your customer knows, or is this something that will eventually be called out on the packaging itself? It, it actually is going to be called out on the packaging. We have a logo called Micro Protect, powered by microband, and it will let the consumer know that that packaging that they're picking up is 99.9% .9 going to kill all germs and bacteria. Okay. okay. Yep. And we've had a great response to uh, retail partners on it. Uh, they've asked us, several of them asked us for it exclusively, which we're not going to do. Um, but we do think that we partnered with uh, Bennett Packaging out of Kansas City to develop this technology. And uh, Bennett's done a great job with us as a partner. We, um, we're hoping that uh, we can license the technology so that not only us, but other people can use it. Um, major uh, retailers that are e-commerce that want to use it uh, will make it available. Um, obviously, we want to get a royalty for it, but uh, sure. we're, we're moving in the right direction when it comes to antimicrobial and antiviral. You know, we're not making any claim that uh, what we're using with microbrand is uh, antiviral, but we are working with other technologies in the future that we are filing a claim. One of them is uh, with Cupron, which is a uh, all natural copper powder that's added that we've signed a exclusivity deal with Cupron uh, to use in our foams, which this is one that is embedded with it. It's 100% saturated into the foam, which is really different from what other people have tried to do with copper. Instead of having copper flake, this powder oxide is able to expand over 100% of the foam. And the results that came back, which we're really encouraged about, it's actually better than any chemical application for an antimicrobial. Um, it's 99.999% uh, effective in killing all germs and bacteria. Wow. And yeah, it's, it's exciting for us because uh, Cupron does have an antiviral claim um, that is going to be expanded. We're going to work with the FDA. We have started working with them uh, to be able to get an antiviral claim. Uh, it's, it takes a lot of money, takes a lot of time, but we expect within the next six months, the next market, we will be having that claim in our phone. So uh, the Cupron tests have been really outstanding. And uh, if you, 
follow Cooper on it all. Their hospital textiles have been used uh, numerous times. To they fight. have a history with the U.S. government, right? The Cooper and technology. They do. Uh, when when there's breaks of Ebola, you know, somewhere else in the world, notably Africa, they call Cupron because that's where they're going to have uh, all the medical clothing made uh, with using their fabrics. Uh, it's been proven to kill that particular virus within two hours of contact. So um, we've got a great arrangement with Cupron. I'm excited to be uh, partnered with them. I'm excited to offer products at Market Week that are going to be really tremendous uh, anywhere from using their fabric in pillow protectors uh, to using it in the foam uh, to using it uh, even in sheets hmm. and as you know Cupron actually came out with the first uh, approved reusable washable mask it's not a it is a surgical mask but it's reusable they can wash it the copper fabric obviously that antimicrobial portion of it is never going to wash out. It's permanent, which is what I really like about using uh, Cupron in our foam. It's never going to degrade. It's always going to be there, and it's a natural ingredient. Um, and they've come up with, uh, I forget, I think they have like close to 18 patents on their uses uh, worldwide. So exciting part to be with Cupron um, and fighting the coronavirus. Uh, hopefully, in six months from now, we'll have another call and another chat uh, before market week and talk about um, what our antiviral claims are and, and how we're doing as a company overall. Um, the other one that I, I wanted to talk about, which I think is really new for us, is the anti-static material. And, you know, you can just imagine today we're doing this Zoom call, right? Right. Imagine all the students that in my kids, I have a 17 and a 15 year old, both of them are doing their classes virtually by mandate in the state that we live in. So just think about it. You know, you're getting all this exposure to screen time. You're using your cell phones more. You're exposed to more electromagnetic radiation, which is producing um, static electricity in your body. That static electricity is producing cortisol and the cortisol in your body is working against producing melatonin. So we came across uh, with a supplier, Standard Fiber. I give them a lot of credit uh, for bringing this to us. Uh, it is a anti-static uh, material fabric. There's actually, I know you can't see it because it's somewhat far away, but I think you can see just kind of a dark thread going through this fabric. It's a the hand is great on the fabric, but that thread is a grounding thread. Mm -hmm. And what it does is, and we have a really cool demonstration, is that we can actually measure your body's uh, voltage. And so we have a little hand measurement that we can see in real time what the voltage is in your body. And we can also see when we touch the fabric that your body is starting to discharge the static that it had. So. As a result of that, putting it in sleeping products, which is more important, um, you'll be able to, and clinically proven in several studies, that it will definitely reduce the voltage in your body to levels that will reduce the production of cortisol and improve your production of melatonin. So the melatonin relates to sleep how? Your body is naturally producing it. That's, that's basically the time clock that says, you know, when it's time to go to bed, your body starts producing it so that you have a restful night of sleep. Okay. When, it, you know, people will take supplements, melatonin supplements, to be able to sleep better. Um, when I used to travel back and forth to China quite a bit, I actually had melatonin, uh, natural melatonin pills that I used to take to help me adjust the jet lag. Mm. So it's a, it, it can pr be produced artificially, but it's better to, for your body to produce it. Um, and it, it helps the body stay in a much deeper sleep at night. Okay. And the, you, you talked about the, um, the demonstration you can do with the, the voltage. Is there a certain amount of time it takes for the kind of the voltage to come out of you? The, uh, 
the first test we did, it started, it probably takes uh, somewhere, depending on the person and how much static electricity they built up during the day. Yeah. But there's, and I'm not going to get into the scientific calculation because it's, you got to take the, the voltage meter times a thousand and that tells you how many millivolts you have. <laughs> and, it, and there's a range, there's actually a published range uh, for your health and well being. But what I can tell you is that it will take anywhere from one to two hours, depending on how severely you've built it up. And I know with my own children, I've measured them. Um, I think it's definitely impacting their sleep, having all this screen time available during the day, right. as opposed to what they're bringing in school, where they're not on the screen for eight hours a day learning. So uh, I do think there's definitely advantage to it. This technology, I'm excited about it. We've branded it Cortex. Um, it will be in the market, uh, I'm hoping by uh, December of this year. Um, so it's a, it, I think it's going to help uh, every person that has all this exposure to electromagnetic radiation through the use of, you know, cell phones and um, screen time uh, sleep better. So, I mean, there are studies that have proven it. Uh, that it actually does work uh, for deeper sleep. And it's more effective, I will tell you this, in the study that was conducted um, in 2004, it was more prevalent in women as opposed to men. Really? Yep. That's yep. surprising. It was. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, those are the three highlights that we're showing at Market Week next week. Um, we've obviously have gotten a, uh, a nice response to our invites. We have, you know, a host of retailers that will actually visit us now in Nashville, uh, at our new home here, uh, versus, um, you know, zoom calls. And we do have, you know, a, a bunch of people that are doing it via zoom as well. Uh, and we'll always make our showroom open here. Like we used to at 295 fifth. Uh, to anyone that wants to come and see our product and at the same time see the product being made with the factory in my background that you can't see where we've screened off the windows. But yeah. um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bullish time to be with the uh, Cinemax. Um, you know, we, some of the work that we've done, some of our retailers, one in particular uh, nominated us for an innovation award in North America um, for so we're a 2021 nominee uh, at Fast Company for most innovative company in North America. That's great. That's yeah. Great. So yeah. You, you've been talking about technology, right, and innovation, but you guys are also moving the ball on the kind of sustainability side, right? Yeah, I like to think, and you know, it's hard for me to judge, but um, based on our competition in the United States, uh, and I'm talking about foam producers not necessarily uh, retail suppliers, but our sustainable efforts have been really, really uh, stellar. We've got uh, a patent filed on one of our processes that helps clean ocean water from uh, oil spills that's related to sustainability, but we have a brand called Ecocentrals that uh, uses, has a full sustainability story. The fabric is sustainable. It's either made with Reprieve or it's made with Sequel which mm -hmm. both companies have two different directives, but um, to keep it short, one is uh, they're both focused on recycling plastic out of oceans or out of landfills uh, to produce fabrics. Second part of it is the foam that we produce. We've come up with some really great soy-based uh, memory foam polyols that uh, is 30% of the product, which in one particular retailer's case, will save 8.7 million pounds of crude oil next year. Wow. That's a substantial number. Um, and our packaging, you know, the third leg of it is the packaging portion of it. And the packaging uh, is 37.5% um, recycled. And so as a result of that, you know, we're saving numerous and numerous amounts of trees in the environment. So we've got a really nice eco-central story uh, as a brand. And, um, you know, we've gotten a lot of good response. Uh, last market, 
uh, via Zoom, but really we introduced it on a soft launch you know, in September of last year. And we had, we actually had one retailer pick it up on the spot, literally saw it on Tuesday at market week, wrote us orders on um, Thursday for that product. So I uh, can't have hope for more than that. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was, uh, it was very unusual. It's the first time in my career that I actually got an order in market week. So um, unless it was for obsolete inventory. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it sounds like you got a lot of stuff coming up that you're already showing and you're going to be showing more people next week for virtual market. We are. And, um, you know, our retailers have been booking appointments directly with us online um, at wwwsinamax uh, usa um, backslash events dot com, dot com backslash events. But um, we've we've got some news out there. Uh, people should follow us on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, we've, we've got a great uh, social media team that's done a remarkable job in not only promoting what we have, but actually helping us develop a, a great sustainability story. I couldn't be more proud of the team that we have here at Sinovax. That's terrific. Well, thank you so much for hopping on to Facebook Live to bring us up to date with the latest developments. It's really cool stuff, John. Thank you, Jennifer.